Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing absolutely fine. As you can see, today I am out on a ride. Uh, I've been on a ride since yesterday actually. I had some work in Nasik, so I travelled from Pune to Nasik yesterday. And today I am on my journey back home. I am travelling via Karzat. It's a different route. I didn't want to take the boring route back from Nasik to Pune. And so far this has been very interesting. And I found this lovely location over here. And I thought I will uh, select this location to uh, shoot this vlog. So this vlog is about all the upgrades that I have done on my KTM Duke 200 BS6. Uh, which uh, ultimately helped me on my ride from Pune to Ladakh. 6000 kilometers, and I didn't have any problems at all with the bike. So let's get started. So let me put my helmet away. Let me just lock it into place so it doesn't fall. So the first upgrade I want to talk about is my seat. So I had bought this uh, bike back in October 2021 and I found the seat was very hard, it was very uncomfortable especially on bumps, uh, speed breakers, uh, road undulations. So I checked a few videos online on YouTube. <laughs> I love using YouTube, it's a great source of information and that's basically why I started to make videos as well because uh, I know that there's a lot of information as a rider I can also share uh, my learnings so anyway getting back to my seat so I went to a nearby uh, seat shop which uh, had good reviews for uh, you know modifying the seat and what you see here is a uh, one inch thick memory foam I have installed it only on the rider seat on the pillion seat, I have only installed a matching uh, seat cover, but it's still a stock seat inside. So this one inch foam is uh, stuck with uh, epoxy on top of the base seat, so that it can be removed if required. It's been very comfortable since then. The difference it makes after adding this one inch foam is phenomenal. To deal with this uh, uncomfortable seat, I had purchased an air seat as well. And I had used it uh, on a few occasions. I had carried it with me to my Koi Hills ride uh, back in March, which was a 3000 km ride. But I didn't use it even once. Learning from that experience, I didn't take it at all to my Ladakh trip, which was 6000 km. And I can tell you, with this foam seat and with the tips and tricks that I have learned as a rider, I was able to complete the ride. Uh, comfortably as comfortably as possible but uh, it definitely helped me check out you can install the foam seat and see what it feels like so going to the next upgrade grip puppies another thing that is uncomfortable about the duke 200 and in general the ktms the grips are really hard and over a period of time they get uncomfortable it's fine as long as you're wearing gloves, it doesn't matter. But uh, you don't wear gloves all the time, right? Especially, I don't wear them when I'm going to office or within the city. So I really needed something that would be comfortable. These grip puppies are imported from the UK. They cost almost 1900 rupees. But I can tell you, they make a big difference. And I can ride all day uh, very comfortably without any issues. So one more upgrade that I recommend from my side. The next upgrade I would like to talk about are these bar end weights. The stock KTM Duke uh, 200 does not come with these bar end weights. I don't know why KTM and Bajaj stopped uh, installing them on the bikes. I mean, I got these from the uh, parts bin at the KTM workshop at uh, Planet Bajaj. And they just cost 200 rupees. A big advantage that you get of uh, installing these is uh, your handlebar uh, the size, the length increases, you get a lot more uh, to hold on to the bar. And uh, another thing is, if you see here, it's a little bit scratched over here. There's a reason for that. 
so one thing here you know whatever falls that i have had i have had about two or three falls on the bike so far each time the speed of the bike was zero it was basically i lost my balance and i just dropped the bike now when that happens these come into play they keep the body away from the uh, ground so this is the advantage that i got of installing the bar and weights the next thing i would talk about number 4 is the bobo mobile mount so this one comes with the quick charge 3 Previously, I had installed a regular Bobo mobile mount. It didn't have any charging facility. It was fine for doing day trips where uh, I didn't need to charge my mobile all the time. But uh, when I was planning my ride back, uh, my ride to Koli Hills, which would be a multi-day ride, I realized that I would need something that would help me to charge my mobile phone as well. And that's when I got this installed. It's really useful. it uh, quickly charges the mobile phone and it keeps my ride going because uh, i usually like to keep the maps on all the time whenever i'm riding so if you are planning a long ride at any point of time i would definitely recommend uh, installing this one okay so coming up next are these auxiliary lights these are the top end mad dog alpha performance aux headlights I got them installed along with the switch, the harness, and the lights themselves for uh, almost thirteen thousand rupees. The wiring is done by a special mechanic, and it is completely internal. It is completely in parallel to the original wiring. It will not void your warranty of the bike. I will put up the link uh, to the video that I had made when I installed these uh, lights over here. You can check that out. As far as the review goes. Guys, if you are going to do any kind of night riding, these lights are highly recommended. The first uh, time I used these are on my Koli Hills ride when I set out on a complete night ride from Pune to Bangalore, 900 kilometers. I'll put up the link over here. You can check out the performance of these lights as well. The second time I found them useful is in Ladakh, and I think If I didn't have these lights, I would never have dared to plan this kind of a ride. The Ladakh ride, most of the time, I was riding during the day. However, there is a section where I am uh, riding from Nubra Valley to Thang Village, which is ahead of Turtuk. It takes almost two to two and a half hours to get there from Nubra, and uh, equal amount of time to come back. The thing is, I had reached around two uh, o'clock at Nubra Valley, checked into my hotel. had lunch and about 3 i set out again it was going to be sundown pretty soon it took me around 2 to 2 and a half hours to reach thang which is the last village of india i'll put up the link here as soon as i have the video ready for you guys to see on the way back it was pitch darkness imagine me on a mountain road hardly anybody else around when you see the vlog you will see the seriousness the gravity of the situation i was in I couldn't have done this without the lights I can tell you but these lights powered my ride they kept me going at a very decent amount of speed and very safely I completed the ride so again highly recommended from my side if you're a serious biker and you like to do long distance riding coming to the next upgrade I would like to talk about these these are the Pro Spec Highway foot pegs you can get them on Amazon for about 2200 So the thing with the Duke is that it's a sports bike. It is not like a cruiser or a adventure bike. So what that means is when you sit on the bike, if you can see my leg is bent at the knee. It is bent at a very sharp angle. You can't sit all through your ride like this. It gets very tiring. You need to stretch your legs from time to time a bit. and that's where these prospect uh, highway foot pegs come into uh, play especially on long highways where you are just going to keep going and without even changing the gears it really gives a good break even today i have been using them that's why they're out like that they're foldable so you can fold them up like this when you're not using them i have installed them at home by myself it's very easy to install uh 
since i've used them and found them useful i would uh, uh, recommend them for you guys to use as well but it's completely up to each and every individual if you are not comfortable with having these then i don't think you can need to install them but an additional benefit that you get from them so when you fold them up like this you know they are keeping the ground away from your actual crash guard so if you see there are certain scratches over here these are from before i installed these highway foot pegs now i did have a small uh, fall in when i was coming back from uh, ladakh uh, just after just uh, before crossing barala chala pass uh, there's a section with the water crossing uh, it's pretty complicated and that's where i had the fall and combined with these foot pegs and these bar and weights there is not a single scratch on the body of my bike and i think that definitely is a useful uh, reason why someone would want to install these uh, heavy foot pegs okay so the next thing i would like to talk about are these uh, uh, blind spot mirrors they are available on amazon at uh, 399 rupees uh, there's a sticky pad behind so you just stick them onto your existing mirror and they are very useful cuz especially the ktm dukes mirrors they are uh, the coverage is not really too good so you uh, you need to keep moving uh, forward and backward to be able to see exactly who's behind you on the highways throughout the ride these are what i've been primarily using and i found them very useful highly recommended from my side especially if you do highway riding okay now coming to one of the most important upgrades that i did for my ladakh ride this is the uh, zana tail rack it comes for 4000 rupees so on my uh, koli hills ride what i noticed is i didn't have this rack at that point of time i had the tail bag uh, with me at that point of time and the tail bag would come right up to here on the seat and it would keep pushing me you will see me talking about it on my log here when i uh, start my ride from pune to ladakh uh, on the first day i had ins uh, installed my tail bag like that and it kept pushing my back a little bit from time to time what the rack does is it gives you a uh, very strong stable surface so you can install the bag half on the seat and half behind that way you get a lot of space behind you the duke 200 seat is not very lengthy it is not like adventure seats and so it doesn't get very comfortable on a long ride if you have a bag pushing your back from time to time so definitely highly recommended from my side to have a zana rack uh why i went for zana is because it was available readily for the ktm duke there are other uh, racks available as well uh, they are more expensive as well this is one of the cheapest but sturdy ones available out there one thing i didn't like about this rack is the paint keeps chipping off and then whatever uh, surface is exposed keeps uh, getting prone to rust so i have to maintain it from time to time i have i have bought a can of uh, black color spray paint which i have to keep spraying on it from time to time uh, and to keep the rust away i also spray wd40 from time to time on it so there is a little bit of maintenance involved to keep this rack uh, uh, you know rust free but ab apart from that i think it is very stable so coming to the next upgrade going into the mountains uh, going into off roads uh, there is a very high chance especially on this kind of a bike that a stone or pebble can hit your radiator and cause it to fall to address that i have purchased and installed uh, this uh, radiator grill here this is also from zana it costs around 2300 rupees i'll put up the link for the video here i installed it at home myself it was pretty easy to install not too difficult uh, when you hold it it uh, is so thin and light i had my doubts whether it would really protect the radiator or not but as you can see i am back from ladakh and as i said i had no issues at all with any portion of the bike protection is definitely good whenever you are planning a long ride especially if you are planning a solo ride where there would be no one else to help you so again uh, highly recommended upgrade from my side 
coming to the next one i would like to talk about these uh, fork covers these are from motor trend so the thing with upside down forks is if the seal cover breaks the oil is going to leak down right away it's not like your regular forks right a fork cover keeps the seal and the surrounding area clean it doesn't let dirt and dust and grime to get inside so i found it useful when i was traveling to ladakh when you see my ladakh vlogs you will see that there is a huge variety of all kinds of terrain over there so the bikes dealt with all these kind of terrain and uh, i feel the life of my uh, fork seal definitely gets increased when i am using this kind of uh, accessory to uh, protect them they are highly recommended by experienced bikers i, I think i have barely started my journey right now with my first trip to ladakh so sometimes it is good to listen to people who are more experienced than you uh, definitely helps to keep your bike safe and enhance your experience as well and they don't cost that much they just cost 800 rupees and they are very easy to install i installed these myself and i'll uh, it's in the same video here uh, the same one where i have installed the zana radiator grill you can check it out over there okay coming to the biggest upgrade of my bike these are the apollo trampler tires apollo trampler xr they're specifically made for bikes like the duke 200 and the ktm uh, duke range so these have a 70 30 on road off road bias so you can use them for uh, 30% off road and 70% on road i specifically got these installed for the ladakh trip you can see the video over here in all it cost uh, around 12600 for both the tires i think they're very useful they help me with all kinds of terrain that i just spoke about in ladakh and uh, not a single puncture throughout my 6000 km trip i think that's an additional bonus i would say for installing this kind of a tire i had the stock mrf revzies uh, on this bike before and i can tell you i was not at all confident whenever i used to corner the bike it used to feel as if the rear end is slipping with, with these tires the wet grip and the cornering grip has inst- uh, has enhanced dramatically considering that uh, my uh, confidence of cornering has also improved i don't really think twice before going through a kind of a tricky se- section of the road it's all about the tire compound that i have used it's hard in the center and soft at the edges so that gives all the cornering grip that you need so if you are looking for a upgrade for your tires and this is available from an indian company so it's not as expensive as some of the imported tires out there coming to the last one so this top box this is from carbon racing it's a company in bangalore which manufactures accessories for all kinds of bikes uh, but specifically for ktm bmw honda and now triumph as well they have come up with this very robust top box this one's a 36 liter they come up in a range of uh, up to 47 liters as well i think they start at 36 and this serves my purpose the ktm duke is a very sleek looking bike and i didn't want to add something that would be looking out of place behind like if i top box would be this high it would look weird right and as long as i can keep my laptop bag in here whenever i'm going to office i think it serves my purpose so the thing is before this i had a chad 29 top case the thing with the shad 29 is it has only two mounting points as opposed to the carbon racing has four mounting points i will show you the mounting points in a bit on the top plate i come across certain videos uh, where the top box of the shad uh, you know it's made of a kind of a fiber reinforced plastic it's really hard plastic but plastic can break and that's what i've seen happening in some of the videos and uh, considering the kind of roads that we have in our country uh, very unpredictable i mean we have good roads but then suddenly you can have uh, very bad stretch of roads as well so i had that in the back of my mind i was not confident going out on long rides with that box so i installed this box so far my experience with this box has been really good this is just my uh, second uh, long ride uh, using this box today 
the best thing is if you have a box like this you can go anywhere you feel like you can put all your stuff inside and lock it up and then you can go around to explore wherever you want to so that's it guys i hope you like this video i hope you found this useful if you did uh, please remember to subscribe and thanks for watching